And then at the end, what did you think of this assignment? Did it suck? Was it good? Did you learn something from it? And I can say, out of the hundreds of students that I've done this with, probably a fourth of them uh, see, uh, they knew all this stuff already. This is just going over something they already kind of knew. They never really thought about it in terms of psycho the psychology of it. They kind of knew a lot about environmental issues. About a fourth of them absolutely hate this stuff, and they are sure that I am trying to subvert something, that this has nothing to do with psychology. No matter how many things I show them from psychology it relates to it, the division of the second, division number 34, the member of the whole division of the American Psychological Association devoted to environmental psychology and conservation psychology and so on. I can show them journal articles, and the APA has featured global warming and climate change and its national conventions a couple of times. None of that touches some students who say Riesenberg's just on his own personal religious kick here, uh, or is political, trying to shape us politically to vote for liberals. So there's about a fourth of them who fall into that category. The 50% in the middle say, I really learned something here. I never thought about these things like this before. And they report here. I mean, I'm reading it, but I tell them it says nothing to do with your grade. I just like to know what you think about it. And so how honest they are, I can't be sure. But about half of them say it's been a really meaningful experience for them. They've learned something from it. All right, now, the assessment part. Attitudes. Pre-statement, post-statement. I give them the attitude uh, survey in the beginning of the quarter. First week, I give it to them the last week of the quarter. This assignment comes in about the middle of the quarter. If we're talking about 11 weeks in the quarter, which is what we have at our place, this comes about the fourth week, somewhere there, sometimes the fifth week. I am very careful that I never mention anything about environmental issues or sustainability before the assignment or after the assignment, because I know I'm the only one doing this, and all you got is my word. But I really want to know what effect it has. I put an awful lot of work into it, so I'd like to know, is it doing anything? So I'm very careful not to keep harping on this issue. I don't bring it up any other time. They just get the one assignment, and that's it. It is a big assignment. So all 35 attitude statements, this is looking at the data across, uh, in this case, about five years. All 35 attitude statements were rated closer to the sustainability poll. So if you look at agree, disagree, like I recycle. I strongly agree I recycle. I'd be toward the sustainability pool. I strongly disagree that I recycle, or I could say that recycling is worth something positive or whatever. But over on the disagree side of the, that's away from the sustainability pool. So when I use this term sustainability pool, it means that the person's attitude is in the direction of supporting the concepts of sustainability. Uh, in the post assignment, we were closer, rated closer to the sustainability pool in the post assignment condition, and in the pre assignment condition, the difference is statistically significant in 11 of the 35 attitude scales. So in 24 of them, it's in the right, in that direction, but it's not statistically significant. But in 11 of them, it is. And that beats chance. If it was only chance, the probability of 0.05 would be one out of 20. So there's something probably happening here. They have large end for it. The assignment reliably causes statistically significant movement in attitude ratings with the sustainability pull. Every section of the course over four years, you find the same thing over and over and over. It's never been different. Every quarter, it's the same basic thing. So that helps me think, oh, this is influencing attitudes. The change persists to the sixth week after the assignment. In psychology, we know it's relatively easy to shape people's, influence people's attitudes. If you're going to measure right after you gave them a big speech or you had them do something about something, you can always, you can pretty easily find an attitude shift. The question is, will it stick? Well, I can't find them a year later. I don't know how to do that. I can find them six weeks later because they're still there and I can get them to fill something out as part of the class time. They have to do it in class and turn it in before they leave. So I get a good sample. You know, I get the whole group by and large. At least six weeks afterward, that's when the measurement is taken. This change is persistent. Maybe it's greater right after the assignment, but at least they're still there at the end of six weeks. That's better than nothing. Anyway, I spent on just measuring one week afterward. Females reliably score higher than males for the sustainability poll. And this is well known in the environmental literature that typically uh, women uh, express more ecologically sensitive and sustainable attitudes than do males on a rating scale. 
But then on all, almost all measures in social psychology that deal with uh, something about your affect, your feeling level about things, women will score a little closer to the poles, the outstreams, than the men will. So this could just be a, along those same lines. It might not be anything worth saying we can't. Maybe we can't say that women are more sustainably minded than men. We can say on rating surveys they express stronger attitudes than men. But they do that on almost all surveys that have any kind of emotional component to it. Uh, faculty are able to impact student attitude. This is one of my conclusions. Fa faculty are able to impact student attitudes by integrating sustainability-related issues into existing courses with even one assignment. So I only got this sample of one course and one instructor, but it tells me we can have an impact. That's scary, and it's good. But it means all of us out there need to really be careful what we're doing, because we do have an impact. Here's a measurement of it uh, with what we're doing. And we hopefully will take that influence and use it responsibly in some fashion. <laughs>